They're the ones who are more native to understanding the creative strategy. They have no choice. They don't have modern day copyright. Day. They are. Where do they fit into the agency model? To me, they're competitive to the agency model. They're additive to the agency model. They are the future agency owners. That's what I came from. I was making wine content and realized this actually scales for every business in the world. Let me start an agency. That came from a content creator. That's who I was. Yes, I was a retailer. Yes, I was an e-commerce retailer. But at the end of the day, the only reason I forayed into Madison Avenue was because I spent a half a decade winning on content and was realizing it was outperforming my print, radio, direct mail, and television advertising. Forget about 20. 30 year olds are children. You're gonna live to 115. Of course 30 is the new 20, because it's the new 10, it's the new three. Yeah, it's such a pleasure. How are you? I'm like so good. I'm so good. I've been playing it so cool. I was freaking out, freaking out. Like literally. Why? Because that's how I express emotion. It's just it's good for you. Earlier that day. I have a Zoom call and you're going to freak out when I tell you who it's with. Gary V. Who I love. <laughs> and I think also. I forgot what I was going to say. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am okay. sweating. Just dripping. Why? It's how I was made. I don't know. God. I'm proud of you, Kat. Thank you so much for being on the show. Bye, Gary. It was so good. Oh my God. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Oh my God, we did it. Forget about 20. 30 year olds are children. You're gonna live to 115. Of course 30 is the new 20, because it's the new 10, it's the new three. Meta has publicly said they're changing their algorithms to more interest than just followers, and I think they're sandbagging how heavy they have to go to get there. Snap, I think, is gonna get much more serious about Spotlight, intuitively, I believe that. YouTube Shorts, for a lot of businesses here is actually probably the most interesting because if you know how to name and title your creative, it also shows up in the search engine and YouTube's the second biggest search engine in the world. For a lot of you, that's where you can showcase your products. Twitter has announced that they're gonna make a much bigger play towards the creative. So, you know, I would say six months ago, it was pot committed TikTok. I would argue that they're all going through the merit of the creative is the distribution now. And so all of them, and because the best of the best are so focused on TikTok, there might be even more arbitrage in YouTube Shorts or Facebook Reels and things of that nature. Watching all the schools around the world ban chat GPT is so devastating to me. They would rather have kids memorize things that they could look up on the internet in one second than to teach critical thinking. The reason AI is gonna be so profound is it's going to teach critical thinking. You have to put something in the AI for something to come out. We have a chance to teach these young kids around the world right now actual critical thinking. That is actually how life works and yet we're banning it throughout the world. Your best friend in the world that you talk to nine times a day, bringing negative energy is a major problem. That person can't be your best friend. I don't believe cutting your mom out of your life is like, quote unquote, the right thing to do. I'm a much bigger fan of limiting than the cutting. Negative energy only breathes with negative energy. The only way you stop someone you love from being negative is by cutting the oxygen, especially if they love you, because then they're like, uh-uh, then they're stuck. A lot of people have mistakenly taken my kind interactions for weakness. If you're a vendor who thinks I'm weak in negotiating and I, at the last minute, buy all the product from someone else instead of you, you very quickly realized you were mistaken. And so people will realize that through action who you are. I'm more fascinated by the person that thinks invoking fear into people or seemingly not being kind is a good strategy when they're incapable to execute with action on the back end. Then you just become a barking dog that everybody realizes will never bite and then you become a doormat and people walk all over you. And you've lost twice. 400 trillion to one. 
When you understand that math, how can't you live your life? That's how rare it is to be a human being. And what are you waiting for? Like, you've been given this ridiculous triple miracle. Like, you're literally more likely to win the lotto 10 times in your life than actually have a life. So I ask you, my friends, with this one life, you're gonna sit on your couch and dwell? You're gonna be upset about some shortcoming? You're gonna be upset about that thing that happened last week that fucked you up? I'm asking you, I'm promising you, please take this swing, make this at bat. I am so tired of people stopping because their uncle critiqued them or their mom made fun of them along the way or their girlfriend doesn't think that they can do it. You've got one at bat, 400 trillion to one, please do something about it. We are living through the greatest era to be alive ever. Yes, there's stuff. I got news for you, there's always stuff. But when you take control of your at bat, when you put it all on yourself, when it's your fault and your wins, when you own it, that's when it starts happening. So please, please squeeze the shit out of your one life. When people are stuck in a dead end job and they don't even realize what's going on. All right, alarm. When people are saying that they're too old and it's over now. <laughs> when people are not nice to each other. <laughs> Flush that shit. And when people are crying and blame everyone else. <laughs> play that shit, play that music for someone else. And when people talk shit about my jets. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking pissed. See you TikTok because I don't care is the answer to your question. The reason I'm able to deal with very tough challenges, it's because I don't have my self-worth wrapped up in my businesses. God forbid I make the wrong decision, I will lose money, who cares? God forbid I make the series of many bad decisions in a row, I will lose my business, who cares? And then I play the reverse. What if I did everything right and became the most successful businessman in the history of the world, but the next day after I achieved that, my mother passed away? Would I be happy? The answer is no. And so I keep my life incredibly simple, detached from my professional career. I have passion for my professional career. I love my work, I love this game, I love this. But it is not in my soul, it is my play. And so it's very easy for me to make challenging decisions. You post 87,000 times a day on social and the content's bad and you don't know the creative strategy of the platform, nothing's gonna happen. So it's not just volume. You could do a thousand push-ups a day incorrectly and not get muscles. Standing out is being discovered. Being discovered requires content output. Being discovered from content output requires volume, which is why I talk about posting so much, and requires strategy. Being good at it, you gotta do both. <laughs>